Hello everyone, I'm Regular Dynamo A. I hope you guys are doing really well. And as you read the title in today's video, you're gonna create Mitsubishi Eclipse from Fast and Furious One. And of course, it's the hero car. Of course, it's the yellow. Uh, it's the green Eclipse, which I'm talking about, which is of course driven by Paul Walker in Fast and Furious, the first movie. So of course, I'm gonna recreate this Eclipse in the game. Of course, we do have some part which actually matches the exact build. Although I do think we might miss some few things, but I will try my best to recreate this build. So of course, if you really enjoyed the video, like the video and of course share your friends and family members. So let's get started with the build, shall we? So of course for today's build, I'm gonna use a 1995 bit species Eclipse GSX and straight away we're gonna go in the arrow and the appearance. Of course for the front bumper, we're gonna choose this one which is the West Racing Street front bumper of course we got the another option but we're gonna go with this one because this one looks pretty good and it matches with well and although one thing i did notice with this front bumper is that in the movie we don't have the mitsubishi logo in the front bumper but it is what it is i guess i cannot change it, it is what it's in the game so for the rear wing we're gonna go with the forza wing because that's the only option i do wish the developers did have give us other options like the api wing or the one which uh, was installed in the movie i don't remember exactly which part it was but i think if i remember correctly it was maybe the api wing but for now we're gonna go with the forza wing because we have to go for the spoiler and we don't have any other options so yeah forza wing it is as for the rear bumper we're gonna go with the wrist racing one just like the front bumper as you can see it kind of looks well i do hope we will have changed the exhaust for example make it a bit big but we cannot change it. I do hope the devs at the playground will add options to change exhaust as well. Although we do have few cars which has options to change exhaust, but not on all cars. For the side skirts, we're gonna go with these ones, which are this racing side skirts. As you can see, we got two options, but you have to choose the one which is at the bottom. As for the hood, we're gonna just keep the hood stock because this one does not look that well or matches it. To be honest, I think in the movie the hood is pretty much stock except those pin or latches on the hood that closes or opens it. I don't know what if we call them. So yeah, we're gonna keep the hood stock. As for the tires, we're gonna add some bell tires here because we're gonna add some slick race tires, gonna make them a bit wider for the front and rear as well. As for the rims, we're gonna go in the fourth uh, sport rim style, and of course, gonna go to the bottom. I'm gonna choose these ones, which are the Work Emotion T7R 2 piece rims, because these are the ones which kind of matches well with the build. So I'm gonna go with these ones, because gonna make them a bit bigger, 19 inches, for the rear as well. Gonna add some engine spacers. As for the brakes, we're gonna add the brakes gonna lower the suspension okay and although I'm gonna lower the suspension I think I'm gonna go keep to sport spring because it kind of although the, the race spring looks well but it's kind of too low this is totally fine so we're gonna go with these of course we're gonna add some weight reduction to it so although the movie does have a cage but I'm not the biggest fan of the cage but since you have to to replicate the build so I'm gonna go with the cage as well so yeah now next thing we're just gonna add some performance mods to the car of course gonna increase the boost gonna add some performance to it so I think we're pretty much done with the build yeah as for the livery of the car I'm of course gonna go with this livery which is one of the most famous livery and in fact I guess it's the most downloaded one so as you can see this is the livery because this is the shade code of delivery so if you guys want to recreate the build and of course recreate the shade delivery you can check it out here so after all the build and the stuff this is how the car looks like in my opinion it kind of looks pretty cool it's pretty sick car but although i do wish it did have option to add a better exhaust and of course it will have more options for spoiler other than that yeah, the car pretty much matches with the original movie build and i'm kind of satisfied how the car looks like in my opinion it's a pretty sick car Although I do wish I would have been able to change few things, but it is what it is, and it kind of looks sick. So next thing I'm doing is gonna take a small test drive in this car, and of course I'm gonna do is do a racing it. So here we go.
Well guys, looks like with the end of the video, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Of course, if you really enjoyed the video, like the video, share with friends and family members. And of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel because it really helps me. So, till the next video, goodbye.